Hey guys, welcome back with the QB Docs. Uh, today I'm joined again here with Gunner, and we're going to talk about an exercise that we can use to help increase mobility in the ankle. All right. So first, let me start out saying that most football players are going to have ankle mobility restrictions because of the culture of the game. All right. Most players are going to wear ankle braces. They're going to get their ankles taped or spatted, which is going to decrease the amount of range of motion that someone's ankle can go through which will most likely limit dorsiflexion to the greatest extent most of the time. All right, so dorsiflexion, I mean bringing the foot up, all right, as high as you can. Now, if I have limited dorsiflexion, all right, and I can't accept weight whenever I cut, whenever I jump, whenever I sprint, all right, whenever I throw a football, the compression force that needs to go through my ankle will now go up a joint to my knee. So those of you that have chronic patellar tendonitis or osgood schlatter disease, that pain right in the front of the knee, look at the range of motion at your ankle because you probably have a restriction there. All right, so we're going to show you an exercise that you can use to help the range of motion of the ankle to take the brunt off the knee. Okay, so what I'm going to have better do is he's, first of all, we need a band. All right, so for those of you that don't have a band, go grab a band. All right, we're going to strap it to a lower surface. All right, so most likely you have a rack that you can use in your high school weight room uh, attached to the bottom of the rack. All right, you're also going to need a bench. Put that bench out in front of you. Gunner's going to put this band right above the ankle bone here. All right, so he wants this band right above the ankle bones on both sides. All right, he's it, it in a great setup right now. What I'm going to have him do is that this foot is going to remain stable on the bench, and he's going to drive this knee forward. All right, so what the band is doing is that it's keeping that ankle in place to now where he's, he's getting some movement in what's called the talocrural joint, right? And he's getting some movement there, but he's also getting some uh, play on the actual joint capsule that surrounds that joint, which can restrict somebody's dorsiflexion going forward. And you can see Gunner's doing a pretty good job. He's got some pretty good range there, uh, which is un it's not very normal for a football player. And he's been working on this for quite some time now. All right, so as, as, as far as how long he would want to hold that, he would probably want to go about two minutes and 30 seconds on each side or until there wasn't a change. All right, so we'll show a frontal version of this as well. Whenever you're doing this, you don't want the heel to come up. All right, he wants to try and maintain an arch here in the foot and driving this knee directly forward while that band is pulling him back. Okay, just like that. Good. You can also perform some breathing with this too. The deeper the breath, all right, the more decrease in muscle tone you'll have, which will let you know you'll get a better range of motion in the ankle and get better play in the ankle joint. All right, there you go. Stand up for me. Good. So if you have knee pain, all right, if you have ankle pain, try that at home. All right. If uh, you like that video and want to check out other videos, please look us up at the QB Docs on our Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, or our website at theqbdocs.com.